Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make an interactive ephemera holder. But first, let's have our shout out to Mr. M, Noreen, Mercy, Janice, Lola, Harley, Roxanne, Dora, and Leslie. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have a digital here. It's from Roxy's Creation. I have printed it on cardstock and I have dyed the back. Now I've had a few people <clears throat> over some time ask me about this coffee dyeing on the back and I will say that I have an HP printer and it's a, a color laser jet pro. So it's the laser printer so I'm able to coffee dye on the back and it doesn't smear the front. Okay so let's get back to our project today. So this is approximately eight inches by eight inches and we are going to decide what we want for the front and I am going to select this because my words are right you know straight up and down here as opposed to selecting this. I think, well I don't know, that's awful pretty too, but I do think I like this better. All right, so I am going to actually just take these two ends, the opposite edges, and I'm going to fold it so that they touch in the middle, but I want it to be approximately two inches here. This fold is approximately two inches on each side. I'm going to fold it in the middle. So let's see if I can get this done. I think I'll do, just kind of try to do it all at once. I don't want them to overlap. I want it to be like a door. So you're opening a door or shutters. Maybe I should say that opening the shutters and so then I'm just going to crease it now I have already inked around the edges but I have not inked of course what we just folded so I'm going to do that now and I'm actually going to turn it back this way and I'm going to go ahead and ink it and it's going to also help you see what I'm going to do and just a couple more steps plus I do like inking and this will be part of the decoration I guess you could say on our piece of ephemera now we look like this now you, you have decided that this is your top and this is your bottom I'm going to take the bottom right here and I'm going to fold it up approximately an inch and a half so that's about an inch and a half. All right, let's give it a crease. Let the bone folder help me just crease it a little better because it is cardstock. It is a little harder to crease. Now I did make these, uh, this one, this style. I made it with a piece of regular copy weight paper. I did not care for the outcome. I really think it needs to have that extra sturdiness with the cardstock. So I switched to cardstock, but I wanted to say that to you in case somebody thinks, oh, I'll just make it with cardstock. Well, you can still make it with cardstock and it still turns out really cute, but it is very flimsy. So anyway, so what we want to do now is you can see that we have two squares right here on the ends. We're going to cut them out. So getting my scissors, we're just going to trim this out. Simply cutting on the lines and removing them. Moving that one. Let's remove this one. There we are. And it's removed. So now we have our pocket. So making sure that this folds nicely. This one's pretty good. This one I think I need to take just a little bit more off. You want to make sure that your 
I'm going to call them shutters, <laughs> that your shutters close nicely without puckering your pocket that you just made. So before I glue this down, I have a digital that is from the Junk Journal Studio. And I want this to be on the inside. I really think this is really super cool. So I've got my art glitter glue and I'm simply going to add my glue to the edges inside the folds, making sure it's inside, you're not going on the outside. I'm doing it this way because it's much easier for me to lay something simply over something else and then go back and trim it out. Whether uh, the other way is some people cut it before they start to make it fit perfectly and then put it in. I can never get it back in the right way. It's a struggle for me. So I like to do things the easy way. So I'm doing it this way and I just find it to be so much simpler for me to do it this way. So that is the way I'm doing it and I'm showing you how I do that process. I just turn it back and I just go ahead and trim it out. I've got a, I've kind of got my scissors at a little bit of an angle instead of straight up and down. It's a little bit of an angle and it helps really get it in there, uh, get my scissors in there to remove the paper so that my shutters, <laughs> we're going to call them shutters, my shutters will go ahead and, and fold back. Now if you fold that and you see it's catching on anything, you can go back and trim it up. And I'm just simply going to do the same thing to all of the sides. It's a very easy process and I just, I just like to do it better this way. There we are. Now we've got that. Now what I want to do is, there's our little piece right there. I would like to go ahead and, uh, let's see, what, what do I want to do next? I'm just thinking what my next step would be. Let's go ahead and glue our pocket. So I'm just adding my glue to, no, let's see, let me look at that. Yeah, that's going to shut. Okay, I'm just adding my glue to the two sides. And it's my art glitter glue and I'm just going to glue it just very simple I am going to use my bold folder again and I'm just going to press it down now I have my pocket I do think I want to add my inking around the edge here I don't have to do the top because we're going to do something else with the top. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to fold it back up and I'm going to actually just remove a corner. Now I'm not going to make a, a point like this. I'm going to do something like that. I'm using my fingers as showing you where I'm going to cut it. I don't want it to be like that. I don't want a point. I want it to be something like this. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Let's just go ahead and remove it. Take it, turn it over. And remove it on this side as well. Open it up. It is rather steep. It is rather a steep cut, but that's just the way that I've designed this. Now I'm taking my ruler and the reason why I'm taking my ruler is I'm going to mark where I'm going to remove <clears throat> this part right here and I'm going right to the bottom of where I've cut this notch out right here at the bottom and so I'm just lining up this notch with this notch Hopefully that's straight. I'm going to also put it here on my grid and look to see. No, I don't think it's straight. So I'm also using my grid. Now I'm just making a line right across and a line right across. Then I'm going to grab my scissors 
and I'm going to remove that right where I marked it. Simply cut it out. Just like that, turning it around, doing the other side. There we are. Now we have something that looks like this. Super cute, right? It's really turning out. It's really coming together for us. Now I'm getting my vintage photo again, and I'm just going to ink up this portion right here. Okay, and then I'm going to get my corner rounder <clears throat> and right here at my doors or my shutters with whatever you care to cho choose to call them I'm going to remove the points right here so I'm just using my corner rounder and I'm just removing my points just like that let's go ahead and ink this up since that's a fresh cut just like that okay now I think I'd like this inked a little more on this side <clears throat> All right, it's looking absolutely adorable. I'm going to <clears throat> ink this up just a little bit more inside. All right, now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to bring in my hole savers. Now these are very old <laughs> and I dyed these or colored these by using my sponge and I just went around and just colored them and you can make them absolutely as dark as you want. So that's how I got those colored. And what we want to do here is we want to put two marks for two holes and I want it to be about in the middle as best I can. So it's going to be about right here. I'm just using my ruler once again just to kind of help me position where I want to put my holes. I want one right here. And I think I want one right here. And then I'm going to bring in my hole punch. I'm going to use my larger hole punch. And, oh sure, no it's like, oh here it is. <laughs> I lost it for a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to punch out where I marked it. Just like that. So I went in I guess that's about a half an inch. I went in because I don't want it right on the edge. I want to give myself some some room so it doesn't rip out. That's I just don't want to have it ripped out. So I think the best way not to have it ripped out is give it a little room. I'm going to go ahead and add a little glue around my hole only because my hole punches, my hole savers I should say, are very old and I'm just not sure how sticky they would stay or they are. So I don't want these to come loose. So I'm just reinforcing their ability to stay. I guess got glue on there so I think I better open it up and do it this way. And then I'm also going to do the inside. So simply, I'm simply just going around a little bit with my glue and then removing my circle and just placing it on. Very simple, very simple. So let's go ahead and do this one. There we go. And removing my little saver and popping it right on. There we go. Now, we look like this. It's coming right along. I still have glue, I see. I've got a piece of Sorry Silk from Crimson Heart Studios, and I will list that down below. She is on Etsy. And I'm just removing the little strings that occur. I'm going to place it through the hole See, do I want to go this way or do I want to go the other way? I think this is fine. I don't think it really matters which way you go. And I want to tie a bow. So just simply tying a bow. Oh, I think this is so cute. The sari just takes it to a whole nother level. And I'm, I'm giving myself some room, some streamers 
just so that when you untie it and you tie it again, that it's not um, so tight that you're having a hard time making your bow. Let's go ahead and let's decorate this just a little bit. How about if we use a little bit of lace? And I think I would like to maybe do something like this. And I have got my, well, I do if I move my scissors. I've got my hot glue gun all ready and heated. I just had it moved out of the way. And I'm going to add my pieces of lace here. I'm looking to see. I can't figure out if there's a right or wrong on that lace. I'm up and, you know, right side, wrong side. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to glue it down right there. And then I'm going to glue the little one right here on the top. Maybe something like that. Now I have some pieces of ephemera here. I've got a label and... Let's see, this one's from my porch prints. Isn't that cute, that little, those little flowers? This one's from Roxy's Creation. This one's from uh, Tracy Fox. This one, I'm really sorry. I don't know where this one came from. Mm. Mm. I just don't. I've, I'm at a loss as to say where it came from. I think I'd like to pop this on and... I think I'd like to pop it on maybe right here, just like this. I, I think that's super cute. So I'm going to add my hot glue on here. And I'm just going to get it on, kind of at an angle, so I get it all on there, the stem included. And of course you know, you guys, we're going to have to add a little bling. Now, I don't know if I want this bling. It's kind of heavy looking. Or do I want to go ahead and maybe just add some pearls? I'm thinking the pearls are super pretty and maybe we can add a few down below and a few up above. So let's add a few right down here. And let's add some right across here. A little bit of embellishing really add something oh my goodness i think that is adorable so interactive is the name i gave to this because you need to untie it and open it up and then you can place your items right into your pocket just like this and i thought maybe this little label would be cute just if we stick it right here and we can even maybe Tuck a little bit of lace right underneath it. Something like that. I'm going to add this so I can glue the lace down at the same time as I add the label. Goodness gracious, isn't that adorable? I have made two other ones that I'd like to show you. They're in different colors. And I also uh, will talk about when I was putting this together, creating it, getting it all ready to be able to show on a uh, video, I did the pocket just a little different. So these are the two that I made. Now I also wanted to say that you could either stick this in a pocket or a belly band. You could actually even put it on a flip on a page, you put it on a flip. You could glue it down only on three sides and use it for another tuck spot. So there are lots of things that you could do with this. This is the other one that I made. Isn't this pretty? It has the blues, but then it also has the golds. I even took some of the Bow Bunny stencil paste and I put some gold here and there on it and then Inside, what you will find is you will find some, like there's a large one of those flowers that we used on the front of the one we just made. And I put some of those color 
what did we call those? I don't know. Well, we colored on book page. We painted on book page. I added some of that. I thought that color went nicely with it. And we'll just tie this up and we'll look into the next one. The next one's a beautiful blue-gray color. And I've added some larger pieces of lace on the front with some pearls and a label. And then you open it up. And in here, I added some things in blues. So we've got these type of things stuck right into the pocket. Now this is this is the one. This is the one that I was telling you about the pocket. I hadn't done the flip up to where we cut out the two squares here. And I just glued this pocket on. So this didn't have the flip down. But I think the flip down, when you fold it up, it really finishes off the bottom nicely. I don't even know if you can really tell any difference. Not really. You can't really tell any difference. So either way, you want to do that. Whether you want to go ahead and not fold it up an inch and a half and remove those two squares and just add a pocket on the bottom. Or if you want to go ahead and fold it up and remove those squares. Either way, it's easy. It's simple. It's great fun. And what a great interactive piece to hold your ephemera. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.